Hello everybody and welcome to my base in Minecraft 1.2.3 uh, This is the first episode I have done in 1.2 and uh, immediately I'm going to start to make some uh, changes uh, due to the uh, the recent update so uh, the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put stairs sort of a stair railing uh, down here and I think I need some uh, I'll need some cobblestone I don't think I have any quite yet though uh, so I'll have to run back to my uh, other base after sleeping through the night and uh, run back there and we'll uh, go from there okay we're getting close to our base now looks like everything stayed pretty much the same yeah it looks perfect good conversion Jeb well done glad I didn't have to start over alright so check out how our sugarcane farm is doing here and hasn't grown at all yet okay I should also probably take this sugarcane down uh, and I realized that I didn't plant, uh, replant this tower of wheat, so I should probably do that as well. But for right now, let's go ahead and go in and see if we have any cobblestone. Oh, right, 1.2. Almost forgot. Have to update. And I'm playing on peaceful because I was in my, uh, test world. But we're going to update to hard difficulty. So we're playing on hard from here on out. So that should be interesting. And one of the things I might want to do is I might want to get some new doors because zombies will break these down and these are bugging out anyway. So now is a better time than ever to go ahead and upgrade these. So just get some of my block of, blocks of iron down and we'll make two, actually we need three iron doors and actually we might as well go ahead and make four because we still have, uh, still have one over at our secondary base. So we'll just go ahead and make some doors, some iron doors. All right, just gonna craft a few more buttons here. I think we, think we should probably get uh, some for the secondary base too. So we'll go ahead and put four and five overall buttons should be good enough, I would think, I'd hope. So we'll go through this, put a button on the outside there. That's looking good. Okay. And we'll go upstairs and do the same up here. So I'll put it there. And put it on the right, I guess. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So that's our house secured for the hard difficulty we are currently facing. Let's go ahead and eat something here. And speaking of eating, uh, I went ahead and got some seeds. Should probably go ahead and make a hoe here and go out and replant that. Uh, large automated wheat farm we have. So I'll craft this iron hoe here just in case we accidentally jump on something. And we can head out. There we go. And begin to replant this whole tower. So this tower is doing pretty well. I might, with a new world hide, I might actually extend it a bit more. But uh, we'll just have to see what happens. So I'm going to get out my seeds and I'll start planting and I'll be back uh, once once that's done okay everybody I'm standing here on the uh, on the ladder and I don't want to fall down here that would be absolutely disastrous but I just want to show you I went ahead and planted replanted all of these uh, seeds at every level of the farm so should be good toward producing uh, producing more wheat here and we're gonna head back to our base after looking around and wow look at the uh, the spawn rates these mobs you can tell they've gone up a little bit since we now are on hard uh, next thing I think we should do is go ahead and see if we can't smelt some of this stone and let's see we got some moss stone we might actually have to uh, go down and get some lava because I want to make a cobblestone generator because there's no sense in just keeping uh, Oh, whoa, ho, look out. Hi-o. Wow, did not expect that. Jeez. Alright, back inside. We're gonna sleep first. Good God. Woo! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and try and make a cobblestone generator. After we go ahead and take care of the skeleton here. And that's the, uh, the new AI for you. Skeleton was seeking shelter underneath this stair. So let's go ahead and go down into our mine. 
And we will look at the creeper. Oh god, this is not good. No! Oh, you son of a gun. This is gonna be interesting. On this hard difficulty. Good god. Okay. I'm gonna head, to, head down here and see if I can find some lava. And a water source. There's a water source. We can always find a water source. We need some lava. And once again I hear a slime. Somewhere around here. Maybe back here? Nope, there he is. Giant slime. This is a great slime spawning chunk, I have to say. Alright, and once again, death by slime. Still guaranteed not to happen in this in this let's play. So I'm just telling you right now, it's not happening. Alright, looks like we picked up 14 slime balls. Excellent. Alright, let's start heading down. And did I bring a pickaxe? Yeah, I did, but not a very good one. So, there's a creeper there. And a skeleton. Great. Hi, oh. Okay, let's find another way down. Just need one bucket of lava. So, I'll be back once we uh, get the lava. Okay, so it looks like there's a lava source block here. Actually, maybe more than one. Down here. On this obsidian bed. Uh, and I need to get a bucket out. I hear a zombie out here. So, I'm just going to get this lava. And then I'm going to head back up. Because that's all you need for a cobblestone generator. So, I'll be back uh, once I'm on the surface. Okay, everybody, back on the surface. Uh, we just saw a zombie die there after getting burned. Our tree farmer is doing quite well over here. And uh, I have to remember this is now 1.1 so I have to be careful even in the daytime because skeletons and zombies can still exist in uh, dark places. So let's see we got uh, some lava now we need to go get some water. And I'll just do that from over here. And also you'll see some uh, watermelon and pumpkin over there going to be automating a watermelon farm slash pumpkin farm shortly. I'm actually going to do it two different ways so I'll need a lot of redstone for that. And let's go ahead and start this cobblestone generator. So let's go ahead and go in and get some dirt. Because we have a bunch of dirt and I don't really know what else to do with it. So we'll get a stack of dirt here. And we'll also need a piston. Whoop. We'll also get a piston here. I think we have one lying around somewhere. Maybe. No pistons? Ah. Okay, everybody, so it turns out we have no pistons. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a few more pickaxes. And I'm going to head down and see if I can't find any redstone uh, in a mine, in the mine nearby. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head down. And we'll see where I get. Hopefully I'll find some diamonds. That'd be great. And also uh, look for some redstone so we can build some pistons to uh, help us make this cobblestone generator. Alright everybody, just down here strip mining. Uh, one really long path. Came across some iron, iron and some diamond. So, excellent. Finally, finding some diamond down here waiting to find that. I'm just going to get this iron first. Don't worry. My iron pick runs out. Just got another one. So let's see how many we have here. We have one, two, three, four diamond there. Let's just dig around just to be sure that's all there is in this vein. Sometimes they spawn strangely. And yeah, I think that's it. Four diamond. And as you can see, we're getting some redstone down here. Got some iron right there, so I'm just going to keep on strip mining down here. So yeah, should be good. Alright everybody, just mining once again down here and came across even more diamonds. So, just dig out the area around these, see how many we get here. Oh yeah, this looks like a good diamond spawn here. So that looks like six diamonds to me right there. Let's just make sure there's no more that are hiding somewhere. But yeah, six diamonds for a total of seven diamonds for a total of eleven. So 
Excellent. We're doing really well down here in the mines. And we also got a little bit more redstone and some gold. So, fantastic. All right, everybody. So, I think I'm going to call that uh, good mining expedition. We got 11 diamond, a little bit of iron, a little bit of gold, and almost two full stacks of redstone. So, I'm going to try and uh, pick up the rest of these items and begin to make my way back. So, I have noticed that a lot of the mobs have become a lot more difficult to... Uh, to stop and they do a lot more damage on hard so it's uh, definitely gonna be a challenge getting out of here okay everybody so we made it successfully back to the surface with our 11 diamonds here so I'd say that's a good mining trip plus we got a bunch of redstone so we can go ahead and make that uh, cobblestone generator in the meantime I'll go ahead and put uh, two full stacks of cobblestone well that's gravel two full stacks of cobblestone in the furnace let that smelt down so we can create our uh, stairs back at our second base. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these diamonds in this chest and smelt some iron up. And we'll put the rest of this stuff uh, just in this chest for now for safekeeping. Uh, we'll need that. We'll need a few iron ingots and we'll need a little bit of wood and cobble. So we got all we need to make a piston. So we'll just go ahead and do that right now. Piston is crafted like so. There we go. All right. And we have some, well, we're gonna get, actually we have some dirt, sweet. So uh, let's go ahead and make this cobblestone generator. I'd like to put it down here and have it sort of stick out of the ground. So, actually, you know what? We can go ahead and put it on the surface. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's see, where do we want to put this at? Let's put it... Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about where to put it for a second, and I'll be back. Alright, everyone. Instead of down that mine, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, cobblestone generator over this way. Just a little bit on the side of this tree farm here. And let's see, I think I think right here would be a pretty good spot. Let me just clear an area here. Yeah, I think this will be good over here. And I might make a structure for this uh, eventually, but for now, I think it will be okay in the open. So we'll put a uh, piston down there. And we'll go ahead and build our structure. And I'd like to make it out of glass, so let me go get some sand. And so I've already put down the piston and the uh, block behind this. So let's go ahead and get rid of these vines. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and make the structure with these with this glass here. So we want uh, lava to be there, and we'll put glass or water. We'll put lava here, and we'll put water on this side. Okay. Put that there, and then we don't want them connecting, so go ahead and put lava in here, and water in there, and you get cobblestone there. So now all we need to do is apply a redstone signal here. So to do that, I brought some repeaters and some redstone, so let's put that in our hot bar. We'll run it down over like this, then we'll have it on two repeaters on four ticks delay then we'll just go ahead and run it back this way get this out of the way I know I have a shovel but you know whatever okay then we'll run two more repeaters here I guess uh, let's run them out here on four delay and then redstone 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 all the way back to there. Great. So now if I apply a button signal, the signal will redstone signal should go from this block over here and around. So let's try it. And it went both ways, didn't it? Oh nope, there we go. It's alternating. Nice. So there's our automatic cobblestone generator. It should push out up to uh I think it's 14 blocks. And it might be a bit fast, so let's see. Might need to slow it down a bit. So let's just...
just get rid of that. And is that still pumping out cobblestone? No. It's a bit fast, so we need to delay it a bit more. So let's go ahead and craft uh, some more repeaters. So we'll just put this down here. Uh, we need some more smooth stone, don't we? Alright everybody, so we have this uh, timer set up, but we need to delay it a bit more. So I made a few more repeaters here. Three more. So let's just go ahead and set these down. We'll put them on full delay just to make sure that the uh, system has enough time to uh, to make the cobblestone and then push it out. So put the button down. Press it. Oh yeah, more than enough time now. Perfect. And that's the maximum. So now what happens if we take the end? A few blocks should begin. Yep, there we go. And it automatically generates more. And so we could mess with the timing a bit here. I don't think it needs to be too much like that. So we'll try and decrease the timing. Nice. That seems pretty good. Okay. So that's a pretty good cobblestone generator we have there. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put on the very top two things so that uh, we can't fall in it accidentally somehow. And that should be good. I will uh, probably enclose this off camera. And I'm not sure what I'll use for building material. Maybe uh, probably either wood or smooth stone. But I'll enclose this thing. And I think we're ready to head back over to our uh, secondary base because we have some stone brick stairs. So let's go ahead and head there now. After we eat some melon. Mm -mm, good. Okay, so let's head back over to our uh, secondary base over here. Alright everybody, so here's our base looming out of the distance. And it looks kind of cool with that glass on there, but it really ruins the view from the inside. So I'll show you what I'm planning to do. Uh, I think it's going to work out fairly well but it involves uh, upside down stairs so let's make our way up to our our building and I'm gonna try and make sort of a I'm not really sure what to call it like a fence I guess but it's gonna be sort of a barrier to keep us from falling off and from uh, mobs like spiders from climbing in using these upside down stairs that are new in 1.2 so let's go ahead and head in and did I bring that iron door with me because I need hmm uh, maybe I should just go ahead and craft that iron door. Eh, well, it can wait. I also want to overtake the uh, top of this mountain and light it up so mobs can't spawn there either. So, let's see. We're going to need to break the bottom glass. Yeah, I know. It's unfortunate, but it needs to be done. Because this glass is just unacceptable here. It really ruins the view. I mean, look at that. All those white streaks. I do not want to see those when I'm looking out over this awesome landscape. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this class, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do here. So there's that. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I need to get rid of this first of all. Alright, so we get down here. Can we get rid of that? Yeah. Alright, I'll drop down like this. So we're going to place stairs like that, and then... On the other side, it'll be like this. Hold on. That's the wrong way. Ha! <laughs> Alright. So it's going to be like this. Like that. Is that right? Nope. That's not right. Darn it. Okay. Here we go. So like this. There we go. That's what I want. And then this side will be up like that. I think that's right. Let's check it to make sure. Let's get up a little bit. Uh, hmm. I actually wanted them to be back to back. So let's see. We need this to be out like that. All right. Let's try this once more. So let's see. Out like that. There we go. That's what I wanted. 
and then like that. Let's check that out. There we go, that's what I wanted. So I'll repeat this pattern uh, over to here and then down like that. Uh, I think it should look pretty cool when I'm done. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep real quick. And for some reason I'm getting this awkward sleep position. I'm not sure why. But I'll do that uh, in, the, in the back and in the front. So I'll be back once that is done. Alright everybody, so I went ahead and uh, did the uh, stair step thing on both the bottom and the top uh, both the front and the back so now uh, even though I did waste some glass uh, actually a lot of glass pretty much all the glass put down in the last episode I, uh, I greatly prefer this method and hopefully this grass will grow on there because that would look pretty awesome if not I think I can live with it looks looks kinda cool actually but now we have an unex un unobstructed view uh, from from the snow biome to the desert to the grasslands and then in the back we have more desert and there's an ocean just beyond that so pretty awesome uh, I really like this this design a lot uh, I like that they added these uh, upside down stairs and they can make for some pretty cool designs so uh, I think I'm gonna call that an episode guys uh, thank you very much for watching this has been Cup Fan goodbye